was nothing you could buy with money that it pleased me as much as the thing that you do with your hands and your mind. And my family, all the members of my family, and all the folks who, who know me best know that. Hallmark's story begins with a young Nebraska boy called J.C., who struck out on his own at 18. He traveled to Kansas City with not much more than a shoebox full of postcards and a desire to make it big, not just for himself, but for the family he left behind. My grandfather always said that the reason he came to Kansas City and, and began working was really to put food on the table. He came from Nebraska because he knew that he had to help support his mother and and, and brothers and, and sister. So he was really looking for work and that was a, a, a job that he, he could uh, jump into. But it wasn't long after he started doing that that he realized that, that he could really develop a better product than what we, he was representing. I think he felt he had a real obligation to the customers he was serving to provide them with the best product that would meet their needs. In less than 10 years, a young entrepreneur with big dreams and an even bigger drive to achieve had taken a small mail order business from a single room at the local YMCA to offices in downtown Kansas City, complete with their own printing presses. He knew quality in, in a sense of certainly of you know, good design and good craftsmanship and all those really important things, but he also knew quality in the sense of what would resonate what would mean something to a sender, what would mean something to a recipient. Um, and he, he got that. And it really was uh, just a strong underpinning of his. He'd hang out, hang out in a store, watch people shop, and then ask them, what'd you like, what didn't you like, why didn't you like it? And that was just how he got uh, a, a greater sense of touch for, for consumers and what mattered to them. By now, J.C.'s venture was big enough that he could use a little help. So his brothers joined him. And together, they pursued the American dream printing and selling cards for every occasion. And, oh, along the way, they invented a little thing called gift wrap. It was a cold winter's day in 1917, and J.C.'s little shop in downtown Kansas City had just run out of the plain paper used in those days to wrap gifts. Suddenly, inspiration struck. They might be out of plain paper, but they had plenty of the uncut decorative sheets they used to line French envelopes. At 10 cents a sheet, J.C. and his brothers sold out so quickly they had to begin printing their own, and a wildly popular new tradition was born. But the restless dreamer inside J.C. never allowed him to sit still for very long. Soon the brothers were testing such novel ideas as the Greetaphone, the granddaddy of today's recordable cards and cards with sound. I always got a sense of him as, a, as just a really strong work ethic. I never got the sense that he, he looked at it as drudgery to bring work home. He br brought work home because he wanted to work hard. And he just, he enjoyed that. The other strong value that comes through and is such a part of who he was with, was, was truly just integrity. Um, he, he, he believed that, a, that a, you know, a company lasted for a long time by being strong on a number of fronts, but, but the critical one had to be kind of a strong core value. After World War II, J.C.'s son, Don, followed in his father's footsteps. He brought with him a passion for people, from the writers and artists whose genius created new and innovative ways to enrich the lives of others, to the community that had welcomed a young, energetic 18-year-old with open arms. Don knew one overriding truth. You can't be in the business about caring for others if you didn't express it yourself. Dad's vision for the company, I think, have led to a number of the things that have distinguished Hallmark as a brand and Hallmark as a company for many years. And I think part of that is how we serve our community, how we build a workplace that is nurturing and develops people's abilities to make a difference. When you speak of a family, which we consider ourselves in a company that's close, with cl people have close ties, you have to think about the place they live and uh, the kind of a community they have. 
and so uh, it's kind of part of the extended family take, to help take care of a community that, uh, in which they live. Dad has always had a very strong moral compass, and that, I think, is very much exhibited in the way that Hallmark has always been very attentive to its beliefs and values and, and believed in those very strongly. As the company enters its second century, brothers Don Jr. and Dave Hall continue to chart a course by the same compass shared by their father and grandfather to help people connect in fresh, unique ways we can only begin to imagine. Well, they have a great time working together. Um, they always did, although there's some age separation. They used to wrestle. Every time that you get, get together in our house, they'd start wrestling. And I warned them at the company that probably wasn't appropriate. I'm very proud of those two boys. They've taken over a tough job. I know about that job, and it's a tough one. But if the heart of Hallmark is its values and the passion and integrity of the family that founded it, then the hands of Hallmark are in the talents and passion of its writers and artists. What we do, you kind of can't have a bad day when you're writing something to, to help somebody make somebody else feel better. I was surprised by the caliber of artists, yeah. I didn't realize their interests were so broad. I thought they all painted bunnies, but they don't. They didn't. Very few of them do. I think one of the things that I love about my job is that knowing that I bring this joy to people that I don't even know. It's, it's wonderfully mysterious. I would tell people, uh, next time that you get a card and it makes you smile, you know, know that somebody has had their hand and their heart on that card. It's true. You know, we put a lot of effort into that. I think anytime you can add that personal quality, that personal touch to something, you've really elevated it in status. You really have. And those are types of things that are real. That thought alone is what inspires me most. It's, it's that person that's going to go in the store and see something I did, and it's suddenly a connection for them to somebody either that's important to them or somebody they want to show appreciation for. Um, that's, that's what I hope for, that that what my work does. It's a miracle what you can say with art, with a card, art on a card, how strongly and directly you can communicate your own feelings to other people. The nice thing of uh, Hallmark is that we all try to give people something of beauty, something that helps people, something that makes people communicate. So we try to, um, to enhance the quality of people's life with what we do. Quality is a, has been a watchword of our company from way back. And it's uh, so important that we maintain the, a lot of companies when they grow, they kind of lose sight of the quality, the importance of your basic product, having every piece of quality possible. And uh, we've done a good job of hanging on to that. Our vision is to make the world a more emotionally connected place by making a genuine difference in every life every day. And, and that is, you know, that was true in the teens on postcards. Uh, it was true in the 30s and 40s on greeting cards. It's true today. We're very lucky, I think, to be in the business that we're in because it's all about helping people express their feelings and showing others how much they care. And I can't think of a, a greater business to be involved in. We're not making things, we're, we're helping people and, and serving an important role in people's lives.
Few companies can say they're in the business of touching the lives of others, of helping people to connect. But that's the legacy JC began, and what hundreds of talented people work every day to achieve. They are there to help people express the very best in themselves. Their need to comfort and heal, to love and laugh and celebrate, to make connections with timely humor and timeless inspiration, with stirring images and powerful stories that speak to what is universal in the human heart. And that's the heart of Hallmark.